So this is just, well, it's an incredibly powerful story, isn't it? Is that what drew, what drew you to the script as well? Well, I, I didn't. I was just saying I didn't know that much about Donald Crowhurst, but the more I started to read and learn about him, the more I thought it's just unbelievably courageous. And I couldn't really believe the story. You know, as a producer, you're looking to find good, interesting stories, and this is the first um, sort of proper, true story that we've ever told. So there's a responsibility with that, but also, I mean, talk about pursuing your dreams. I'm going to enter the round the world yacht race, and I'm going to win. It's like. And I think that's the, the, uh, a very important part of the story as well, is that, you know, back in 1968, we weren't encouraged to follow our dreams. You know, we would have nine to five jobs and we would follow a, a path, particularly in the southwest, um, as where opportunities aren't so easy. So I think, was it important for you to be able to, 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 to share that message that actually back, particularly in that time, that there was this strong message of pursuing a dream regardless of the cost? I think so, and again at that time, you know, I was born in, you know, late 60s, um, but, <laughs> so I didn't really know that much about it, but the Americans were going to the moon, there was a lot of, you know, there's obviously what was happening in London in the 60s, but the American ambitions were kind of like, we're going to go to space, and the Brits kind of like, oh, well, maybe we'll go on, so I think there's quite a nice sense of it being a British story with a British hero trying to do something. And going to the southwest, I grew up near Tynmouth actually, I did, so it was wonderful for me to, to see where I grew up and those landmarks that are recognisable to local people. Yes, I don't think it's changed that much, but we, the people of Tynmouth were so kind to us. We had an amazing, I think we were down there two weeks or something, and it was incredible. And uh, no, we loved it being down there. It was one of the highlights of the shoot, actually. It was great. <laughs> and we, obviously, this is a journey of Donald Crowhurst to, to, to circumnavigate the globe, but there's a, really another journey that we go on here, and that's the mental journey of Donald. And, and how, um, how difficult was that to tap into to, to bring the truth? I think, again, you want to be respectful of the family. This really happened. This gentleman here, Sir Robin Knox Johnson, um, is in it. I mean, he did it. Um, so to him have, at the end, to say, look, I think this is an amazing telling of it and having done the race, I think you've got to try and be authentic, but you have to be careful because nobody really knows what happened out there. You know, 50 years ago this year. So. Congratulations. Thank you very it's a, a wonderful it film. Easy. It wasn't easy. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I, I got home and I just completely pulled. I did. I guess, yeah, well, no, it did. I, oh, I am. Don't you worry. <laughs> Especially so the local ones. Good exactly. luck with the film. Take yeah. the plot. <laughs>